Ces mesures-là font suite en fait à l'alerte terroriste qui a eu lieu à Londres mi-août où des informations des services secrets disaient qu'il y avait des atteintes, enfin des risques en tout cas d'emport de, d'explosifs liquides à bord des avions. Donc la réponse qu'a donnée l'Europe avec cette nouvelle directive, c'est une réponse à cette nouvelle menace. Je ne pense pas que c'est une bonne chose parce que du lait transporté dans l'avion, je ne sais pas quel problème ça cause. Donc je suis obligé de jeter le lait là. Probably in the coming weeks and months, uh, this is going to become a part of natural life when a passenger flies, he will have to live with the new rules. Uh, passengers already knew that they are not allowed to take scissors and knives on board an aircraft. Well, as from now on, they will have to know that they can't take liquids on board an aircraft and cabin. I'm breastfeeding, so I didn't have any problems with uh, milk or stuff like that. So it's just uh, the baby food, but they, they didn't make a uh, lot of problems. So. I think it's great to have a bit of security, a lot more than before. I think it's a good idea. Passengers are being gradually informed when arriving at the airport uh, with different stands before they get a check-in. Check-in, uh, there is a further uh, information by the check-in agents and before they proceed to security, there is one more further checkpoint. Uh, leaflets are available and we are very happy with the performance of the system up to now. There is no delays, no queues. Uh, passengers are very helpful. Thank you. 